ask a question. Actually, before someone calls ask a question, look at what look at what Eric Griffin looks like without glasses. He looks like a he looks like a like more like a white dude without his glasses, doesn't he? Or is that me? Does he look more white when he has no glasses on? He looks like a regular white dude. Like a Jewish man or something. No, don't you think so? Don't you look like, like a regular Jewish guy without glasses. <laughs> he actually looks less black. It's like a it's like the Clark Kent the Clark Kent effect. He takes off his glasses and he's just like as another guy. <laughs> <laughs> no, look. <laughs> yeah, he looks Arab. <laughs> oh mate. Honestly. Anyway, let's go back to the clip. Where is it? I think it's a, it's like at 14. There we go. It's at 14. It's around here. It's around here at 14. Bear me one second. Oh, yeah. Big up, good robot. I appreciate you, brother. Haven't been able to catch you live in a minute. Always a treat. Thanks for all the content, bro. Ah, uh, big up. Thank you. No, thank you for tuning in, good robot. Thank you for the $20 super chat, my friend. I appreciate you a lot, man. Thank you for that. That really is amazing, brother. But thank you more so for tuning in because who am I? I mean... I'm just here chatting shit into the wind. But the fact that people watch it is what makes it fun and entertaining. So thank you for tuning in, my friend. Big up good robot. Big up good robot. So let's check the clip out. This is them talking about um, whether you should send your kids to fucking private school or not. Um, this zoom in as well is fucking wild, man. Like, yo, Chin, is a, Chin has an interesting face, isn't it? I don't mean to be that guy, I know. But fucking hell, mate. Chin looks wild. Do you remember when Chin said he thinks people used to think he was white because he's from Austin? Like, <laughs> Chin looks fucking wild. Yo, he looks insane. Can you imagine what he must look like when he when he comes or something? Can you imagine what his cum face must look like when he looks like this day to day? <laughs> He's like happy orgasm ejaculation face. Can you imagine what that must what that must look like on top of you? All right, fucking hell, Chin Suyi. Anyway, he's like the opposite of looks maxing. But let's let's just let's just stop with that because that's not that's not fair. So anyway, let's go back to the clip of what what they're talking about here about their kids and shit. Anime, so she just sent in audio. Oh. Hey guys, I wanted to know your thoughts about where to send your kids to school. Would you do public school or would you do private school? Private school could be religious or academic or some other mm, specialty, sports. outdoor based, things like that. Um, and I know you guys are in LA, I'm up in the Bay Area. Um, so maybe it's a different vibe depending on where you are. But I was just curious, like, do you have a philosophy about public versus private or what you would want to do and why? Thanks. There's a lot to it because yeah. your kids aren't old enough for school yet, yet yeah. right? Tigers in a private school. There's yeah. pros and cons. Well, you cons want are all the kids are assholes. Well, you want to. I feel like you want to do public schools if they're good. If it's a good district, yeah, you want public right. schools. Um, we get to be an involved parent. That's what that's about. Well, uh, yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Yeah. Well, I have a friend of mine that works for LAUSD, and mm -hmm. she works God in the um, in the. Uh, special needs department like Ooh, the, of the, and, and what she's saying teachers. to me is that you'd be surprised there's so many resources that families could take advantage of and they just don't they might not know about it though yeah. either what up but that's what i'm saying yeah. parents aren't involved they're just yeah. like you know you think oh, i gotta work whatever i send my kid to school mm -hmm. and not worry about mm -hmm. it yeah mm -hmm. you want to be an involved parent you guys are involved parents yeah sometimes yeah. i regret that my kid private really like, so, some of the like summer breaks coming up and two like oh my buddy's going to feed you what are we doing like you mean? Oh God, that's hilarious! What do you mean? What are we doing? You're, you mean in the backyard? Yeah, yeah. We're not doing anything. Yeah, we might drive to. Hey, play with bubbles. We might drive to <laughs> Ojai. Blow this. Blow the bubbles. Yeah. yeah. Or spring. I'm I'm getting the feeling this is just me spitting spitting shit out here from my ass, but I'm getting the feeling that fucking money isn't really money isn't you know running freely in the Shop household. He's spending summer at home. He's getting annoyed that he's private educated private school educated kids are now coming back with delusions of grandeur about where they're gonna go on holiday because all their classmates are going on vacation for the summer to fucking capri and shit and they're just gonna be in their garden somewhere in the hollywood hills and stuff right like i'm getting the feeling money is a bit tight over there in the flipping shaw household maybe that kind of explains why the tour got kind of canned because maybe he could have come to europe to do the tour but he would have maybe had to, you know, spend out of pocket 
because obviously he wasn't making enough money on the tickets. So maybe that's what's happening here because this is a strange thing to complain about a little bit, isn't it? Because in my head, if you send your kid to private school, you're kind of signaling that you're one of those parents that takes your kids on summer breaks to like Europe or Far East Asia, or like South American shit. Like that's what people do that have private, that go take tickets to private schools, especially if you live in LA. Like if it go, if, if their kid goes to one of the fucking obvious private schools that all the kids go to over there, no naming or doxing, most likely all their flipping classmates are like, you know, the kids of like big people in hedge funds and agents and like athletes and shit. Like it's no surprise that those kids are asking those questions because they go to those schools, no? Or my or by bugging out. I don't think that's that crazy of a um thing for the kid to ask, to be honest. I mean, you go to a private school, it's kinda of like you've you've kind of did it to you did that to yourself. You know, he did it to himself by sending him there. And again, it's just an image thing, like why do Brendan's kids need to go to a private school? Like, really and truly. Like, why do any any stand-up comedian's kids need to go to a fucking private school? It's so odd. Like, personally, don't you think it's a bit bizarre? Like, unless you're, like, fucking Dave Chappelle's kids or, like, Kevin Hart's kids. Like, what reason do these kind of comedians that do podcasts and stuff and whatever have to send their kids to a private school? I don't know. Um, I don't know. It's strange. But for once, I'm actually going to defend Brian, <laughs> Brendan Schwab's kids. I think Brendan's the one that's in the wrong. You don't send your kids to a private school and drop them off in Porsches and shit and pick them up in Ferraris and then get annoyed when they come back home and wonder why they're not going to Saint Tropez. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> what's your fault, isn't it? <laughs> you maybe don't, maybe take your kids to like a regular school or something. I don't know. Like, I just think it's a bit weird, personally, to complain about that sort of thing. But this may speak to the overall issues at hand with Brendan when it comes to the tour and stuff and just generally. Um, maybe he's finally starting to feel the pinch. Um, maybe the deals and the sponsorship money isn't what it once was. He's not getting booked as much as he once has passed. So now, you know, summer's at home or summer's at home because they used to brag about going on fucking holiday to fucking Hawaii or the places they were going to as a family all the time. And now all of a sudden, those trips aren't as plentiful as before. So again, when you chase an image, that's what happens, isn't it? You end up having to play catch up or having to kind of keep up appearances, sorry. And then when it finally comes back the other way, things kind of get a bit crazy. So it kind of is what it is really in that regard. Um, I kind of got Brendan kids back on that one. I think that kid should be expecting trips abroad in the summer if it goes to LA private school, because for sure that LA private school is going to be full of other quote unquote rich kids. So if you take a kid to a rich kid, they're going to be asking rich kids shit. It just is what it is, isn't it? It kind of is what it 